Zell Boy Army, welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing what I think will be a very helpful video. It's giving you tips on how to win more games in champs. It's going to be two parts this video. Today's video is going to be more outside of the game. And then the next video we'll probably do just before champs, maybe on like Thursday coming up this week. Um, that'll be more in-game practical tips so tutorials guys help you get better at the game if you do like these type of videos that are going to help you win more games at ultimate team help you learn more about the game like tactics reviews of the latest players do consider tuning in to this channel more regularly subscribing like comment the videos it all helps every single day it's a load of here putting out videos to help you guys get better at the game um but yeah Outside of the game, an ultimate team is very important. The team that you put on the pitch. With team of the season probably coming up in the next couple of weeks, very important that you have a good team. I will be doing, during team of the season, I will be playing some people's weekend leagues. Um, that is a charge service, just to clarify before people think I'm doing it for free. If you're interested in paying someone to play your weekend league for you um, and try and get the best rewards possible, um, feel free to contact me on Twitter. That's probably the best place. Um, did that last year. Lowest I got wins at all was 18. So I'm always getting ranked to a rank one. Um, but yeah, this video is by someone who's a top foot champs player. Every year since foot champs came out, all the way back on FIFA 17, I've always hit at least um, a few top 100s every year. Um, I was a pro player from FIFA 18 to about 21 maybe even 22, I was hitting top 100 pretty much every week then. And this year, rank 1 and rank 2 every single weekend. And you can see, I try to use different teams. My team is a little bit different to the average one that people use, so I can use a good variety of players, test different ones out. One of the first tips we're going to talk about, are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. In terms of getting more wins in champs is knowing your team. What do I mean by this? So knowing your team, it's not swapping your players every single game. No, that's obviously a bit of an exaggeration, but getting used to using the same players consistently. You will not be able to know the maximum of a player until you've actually used it a bit. I do player reviews and tier lists all the time, and I do get comments on them where people say, Zell, you've not used this player. How could you possibly rate him? Honestly, I've probably used a majority of the top players on the game by this point. I play on different people's accounts for content. Um, I've played thousands of games this year, and that really does help you improve at the game purely based on knowledge sense, uh, getting to know what play styles are good. But like using this Bobby Charlton, There'll be a card with very similar stats to him, sure, but you will feel slightly different on the ball. So getting used to your team will help you get the maximum out of them. Um, getting used to your team in terms of the formations is important too. So I'm not going to go into depth about these tactics. I'm going to do a tactics video on this probably Tuesday, I think, after weekend league's finish. I'm testing this out this weekend, playing a 3-5-2. It's a bit different. Um, we're 7 and 0 so far in champs. But if you constantly swap and change your formation, you're really not going to get the best out of your team. It's quite simple. So many people lose a game, blame the formation, blame the tactics, and then change it drastically. And they're just constantly in this cycle of never improving because they don't actually have any consistency. If you're not consistent in the way you're playing, how are you going to get consistent in actual results? I'm not saying if a formation or tactic is going horribly, just stick to it forever. But getting used to a tactic, a way of playing, that's going to make a big difference to improving on ultimate team um, and the wind you get in champs. You can tweak instructions. I put a lot of tactics out there and explain them in depth. If they're not working for you or you want to change them, you can change them. Tactics out there, in my opinion. Um, so I've just spilled my sweets on the table. Tactics out there, in my opinion, to be like completely copy this and never change them. You should be looking to learn some stuff yourself, but tactics can be a good base guideline. Knowing what play styles are good and how to use them. So, power shot. I pretty much only use this from tight angles or positions that I know that I can't score unless I use it. I don't think it's that good though. Pinged pass, having that in my cab. I know I can get the ball to him and literally ping it about make a lot of good opportunities with that. 
Normally, I like to have strikers who are agile and 5-5. I'm trying something a bit different this weekend with drop group crouch. But because I know my team, I know the play styles and how this game works, I'm able to really utilize power header aerial. I'm crossing it a lot. I'm whipping it to them. I'm playing long balls up to them because they're going to win every flick on. I'm playing quite different, but you have to play to how your team works. Then I've got two CDMs in this 3-5-2, Stanway and Chavi. Both quite small, so I'm not going to be able to just bully teams physically. But I'm able to get the ball to them. They're very good on the ball. She's got 94 dribbling, really solid on the ball. Chavi's got 95 dribbling. Um, don't know why Stanway's only got 76 composure, by the way. But I know with these two, that they're so good when it comes to um, hitting uh, shots that I can play attacking with them, that they've got a crazy passing, they've both got very good passing play styles, and they've got um, really high passing stats, that I can pretty much, with those two, get the ball with them and do whatever I want passing-wise. So that allows me to play in quite a different way. I've got whipped pass on my fullbacks. So do you see what I'm saying? I've got this style of play. My team all works together as a bit of everything. Building a team like that, using good players, is going to make a big difference. Just building the most expensive team you can afford isn't always necessarily going to work. You want a well-balanced team. You want a good mix of play styles. You want um, a system that suits you, suits the formation. It's all going to make a big difference. And then a last one really for the team. Chemistry. I do see people with just missing their chemistry out. They have low chemistry because they've not put players in the right position or they're not utilising the manager. Make sure you do. Chemistry can make a big difference. And then for the tactics, have a game plan A and a game plan B and a game plan C. If I'm losing by a goal or two, I will switch to the press after possession. Also, it's more aggressive. Gives me more of an avenue back into the game. If I'm losing by a few, I'll go to the ultra-attacking. Not just resting on your laws and accepting the way the game's going, whether you're winning, losing, or drawing, is important. A lot of people lose games that they really shouldn't because they're just idiots and just stay and play in the same way. Um, evolutions, this is definitely a way you can get more wins out of champs when you're probably thinking Housel. Honestly, just checking it every so often and seeing if there's one that you can use to upgrade your players. My Saliba that I've been using for a couple of months, getting a 3 plus 1 from Unleashing Potential. Objectives. I would never play objectives in champs in the sense of try to get objectives that are obscure ones like you using certain players. I would save that for rivals. Champs is one shot, as in you only get one chance to play the 20 games. So don't waste it. Try objectives, but doing objectives outside champs to build your packs up is definitely going to help. And then the last one, really, I would say SBCs. If it wants to load at all. Keeping your eye on what good SBCs are out can massively improve the state of your club. A lot of people really don't do a very good job with SBCs, in my opinion. I don't really get why they don't do it properly, but a lot of people, um, yeah, just they just build whatever SBC they see straight away. There's no plan to it. I make mistakes sometimes in the Socrates SBC and I regret it. Um, I wish I'd done Ribery or Hadji. But as you can see, there's a lot of great players in the SBCs. Picking ones that suit your club, good play styles, ones that you can use longer term, because we get a lot of untradeables now. Going to make a big difference. Sessian just came out yesterday. Is he any good? His goal against Arsenal. I think it is. Uh, but yeah, that Sessian, pretty damn good card. Um, but yeah, there's always going to be good SBCs. Keep your eye out for them. But a lot of it with um, winning outside of the game to give you a good team why does it keep doing that with the heads um to help you get more wins in actual champs is common sense building a team that suits you balancing the team out using good meta play styles having multiple tactics that you can switch to not being stupid with objective or spcs and the last stuff really is like the mental side of things so in champs it is a long process even now with 20 games it used to be 40 games for the ogs you remember that i try to spread my games out if i have to play in one scene i will but a lot of people end up rushing games playing them in too many too many in one go and getting much worse results than they really should spread your games out you will get better results take break if you lose uh, drink water stay hydrated stay comfortable chill on discord with your friends if that helps relax you don't uh, do that if it distracts you different people work 
differently. So try and find something that suits you. Hopefully this video has helped you out. We will do a more practical in-game one later this week. Appreciate you all as always. If there's any videos you'd like to see me do coming up with team up to team of the season, or any just content you want to see, please do let me know. Appreciate you guys as always. Keep it spicy. Peace.